All right, guys, so this is a $50 open back pair of headphones. And I can honestly right now say, in my opinion, this is the best $50 open back headphone you can get on the market right now. And I'm talking about the Lix Pro. This is the OEH 10 model. Um, I noticed it online, decided to pick it up, saw the reviews were raving about it, and I said, well, it's at least worth a shot. And I can say, this is definitely worth a shot. So let's go ahead and check out to see what's inside the box. Uh, to start with, you can see the headphones sitting in here. Um, underneath that, you actually get a very thin carrying pouch. Um, I will say that this is probably not a pair of headphones you're gonna take with you most of the time because it does have an eight foot cable. Um, it also comes with the quarter inch adapter if you're gonna use it on like a home entertainment center or either a mixing board, you have that capabilities. And I think that's what these headphones really are geared for. Although they excel in pretty much everything else they do too. But on top of that, the beauty of these is yes, they come with the pleather ear cups, but it also comes with a fabric ear cup option as well. So basically it gives you two different kind of sound signatures with the ear pads, but if you don't like pleather, you don't like the warmth of that, then you have the fabric option to be able to give you a little more breathability. Now looking at the headphones themselves, I can say they actually stand out. I love the look of these. Um, they're pretty much just black plastic um, with red accents here and there. On the top, you see it's kind of like a leather looking material and it says Lix Pro right up top. Plenty of padding, although these don't really have a whole lot of weight to them. Um, the mesh grill around the ear cups is what allows these to be open back. Um, the ear cups that came on them are the pleather. I found this to be very soft and gave me more base, so I prefer the pleather more than I did the fabric material. Um, as you can see inside, there is just a simple little cloth and red design. They fit very, very flush on your head. They don't stand out really bad. They don't look huge and obnoxious like most studio headphones. Um, so this is a pair that you could use on the go or take with you if you wanted to. But again, like I said, this eight foot cable that is non-removable is something that's probably going to get in the way. Uh, the very tip, you do have the three and a half millimeter cable to plug into normal devices, uh, but like I said, they do include the quarter inch adapter to plug into everything else. The extenders themselves are in aluminum. You can see the notches that are in here. That way, if you want to line up on one side to the other, you can. And also on the outside, you see that is where your left and right are marked. Um, but as far as build quality, I don't think there's going to be any issue here. I was able to stretch these out and twist them. There's no creaking. Um, so as far as a plastic build, I think the longevity of these are going to be pretty good. So the sound signature on these. Now this is where I said that both ear cups will give you something completely different. Uh, the pleather I found had a little bit more bass. Um, mids and treble in these are what really excels. I felt that vocals are so clear. Everything is... The whole thing is these are really clear. Now, my favorite way to use these was plugged into my amp right here at the PC. It just gave it a little more power. And no matter what I did with these, um, as far as EQ was, they were able to handle it. I was able to push bass or push treble. There was no distortion. It handled really high volume levels with ease. I mean, basically anything that I threw at it, I was amazed that a $50 pair of headphones. Now these, in my opinion, are even better than the Audio-Technica M50X, which is $100 more than these. Um, so I don't know what they were able to do. I don't know how they were able to do it and allow this to be open back and only charge $50 which is crazy. If you change the ear pads and you put the fabric material ear pads on here, you'll notice that your bass kind of tones down a little bit, but your mids and trebles start to come through a little more. So clarity becomes um, more upfront with the fabric than they do with the leather ear pads. So really you can kind of adjust the headphone sound the way you want based off the ear pads you want to try and not actually plug it into an amp. This is the sound stage on these are incredible. That's lending to the open back design that these have. It just gives you more spatial awareness. Sound stage on these are incredible. So if you are gonna use these at the PC for gaming or even plugging them into your Switch or a phone that actually may still have a headphone jack, you will have to get a microphone if you do plan on using these for gaming because they don't have a built-in mic, but really they're not made for that. So guys, searching around for a budget pair of headphones for somebody that likes to do studio work or monitoring or listen to things more accurately and have more of a sound stage with the open back, it's gonna be kinda hard to beat these at 50 bucks. If I had to nitpick and have any complaints, 
the, remo the removable cable would be one thing. Um, not having a microphone, especially for people that might want to use these on you know portable gaming systems or phones that still have headphone jacks and to be able to take calls. I don't miss that feature, so that's not really a big deal to me, but it may be to you. So that is the Lix Pro OEH-10. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.